Times Union of Albany. How are you? Sir? Oh, hi. I'm right. David Dinkins. Yes, of course. Nice to see you. <laughs> well, how do you feel about today? Oh, I, I, I love it. I'm. Uh, I, I, I can't fail to say how uh, sorry I am for Elliot's family, uh, children, his parents, wife, of course. But I'm so happy for my friend David. Uh, I've known the governor for his whole life, and I think the world of it. I really, truly do. As one of the sort of top African American leaders who preceded, uh, you know, Governor Patterson, how does it feel to, you know, be here seeing the first governor of New, you know, black governor of New York? Well, if there ever was someone equal to the task, it's David. I admit, by way of full disclosure, that I am hopelessly biased in his favor, but I think it's warranted. That's great. Do you, th do you have a sense of, I mean, based on your many years of experience in, in public life, do you have a sense of whether or not he's going to be able to end the acrimony in Albany? If anyone can, he can. Uh, he certainly is equipped. My DNA, as it were, to, to do a better job than most. And uh, these are difficult times. He's got a, only a few weeks within which to bring in a budget. Uh, he's got a huge deficit, about $5 billion, I think. Uh, so it's not going to be easy. But clearly, if anyone is capable of it, it is David. And you said you've known him all your life. Do you have a story of, you know, his youth or growing up that you think well, sort of tells uh, something about him? Well, the story that I like to tell is that he helped me in uh, my campaigns for our president and, and for mayor. And uh, I used to tell him that there's a rule in our campaign that no one is supposed to look better or sound better than the candidate. And uh, David used to violate that rule. He was so eloquent that when he got through introducing me, I had nothing to say. <laughs> That's great. So, are you, I mean, how does it how does it feel now to sort of, you know, see everyone gathered here? I mean, this is a huge I, press crush. It's unlike well, anything. I, I swell with pride, just like I had something to do with it, <laughs> and I had nothing to do with it. He, he, he did it all by himself. And do you have words of advice, or have you given him words of advice in the sense everything's happened? The only advice happened? I would offer to him is be himself. And I'm confident he will be. Uh, he will listen. He's a good listener. He'll listen to advice from all kinds of quarters. Uh, but he will be mindful of the source of the advice and ultimately make his own judgment. That's great.